Hello YouTube, Cliff here in the shed. I just got a new uh, addition to the shed and I thought I'd like to share it with you. <coughs> Something I've been after for a very long time. It's a, this particular one is an Oolig kiln. It's quite old, I think this is a 1980s one. And uh, I bought it on eBay. Um, went and picked it up. Um, it all works. I've tried it out. It all gets hot. It does appears to do what it's supposed to do. It came with a whole load of enamels. <coughs> and some tools and trays and bits and pieces and another load of enamels in there and a little sifter. that has got some shit in it. stands and all sorts yeah so um, I'm very pleased with it <clears throat> I mean I've always wanted to do a bit of enameling anyway but I mean for heat treating anything any stills and that that's um, it's an ideal little thing to have in the workshop now it comes with this controller which has got this dial on the front and it all works this light don't work on it but other than that it all works <coughs> but what this controller does it's got no thermostat on it this so I had a little bit of a read up on it and what this controller does this this plugs into the mains and the kiln plugs into there and these numbers correspond to a percentage of the time that it'll have it on so I mean it does I, I've tried it out and I've timed it I can't actually see any rhyme or reason to it but for argument's sake if you've got it on one it will be on for 10% and off for 10% so it'll be on for a minute off for nine minutes and presumably if you've got it on number three it'll be on for 30% it'll be on for three minutes and off for seven didn't seem to correspond exactly to that when I was timing it and trying it out and I find it a little bit difficult to get the temperature it's got an hole in the back for a temperature gauge temperature gauge a probe and I was testing it with with my temperature gauge I did find it a bit difficult or I mean I haven't had it five minutes um, I might be jumping the gun a bit but I did find it a little bit difficult to control the actual temperature of it and especially for heat treating steel knife if, if i want to do it at 740 i want it pretty much at 740 continuously constantly so i'm thinking of not using it i had a look at it it is a bloody expense they do the modern equivalent of this and they're very expensive but but i thought i'd try and put a pid controller on it so i bought this one off of ebay not that. So I bought the uh, little PID controller, little relay, and a thermocouple. No, uh, all like a K type thermocouple, but um, this all come together as a kit. Problem is, this is only a 400 degree thermocouple, so that ain't no good. I mean, this, this whole lot was only about 12 quid and I bought a 1250 thermocouple that goes up to 1250 degrees C and that was about 12 quid as well so it's about 25 quid's worth here so I'm gonna wire it up and see if I can make this operate a little bit more steadily I've got somewhere oh yeah there it is I've got this little old, this was a, uh, a power supply of a computer. I just, I, it broke and I scrapped most of the stuff out of it. But I kept the box and I might actually try and mount this in this box. Before we do away with it, I might rewire this anyway. Because, I don't know if you can see that, it's all a bit carroty, the wiring. So I'm probably going to rewire it and I'll probably put a, 
one of these three pin plugs here, either a male or female, so that I can plug it the kiln into this and get the power out of it. So that's what I'm going to do next, see if I can sort the wiring out on this and get it wired up. Well here it is, I put it together, unfortunately my card ran out on my uh, <coughs> time lapse video of me putting it together but it's all in there. Basically just got an on off switch, that's the PID, the relay is in there, I've connected the relay up to the female outlet here, that's the inlet, plugs into the mains and the fan comes on when it operates the relay. It's on the low voltage side of the relay. The uh, thermocouple is... I've just connected that straight up to the PID. I've got the back off of the kiln at the moment and I've disconnected the old lead. I'm going to put a new cable on it. The uh, thermocouple fits into the back here. Unfortunately it doesn't get quite enough that just about makes the insulation. Um, so I'm going to grind the nut off because it's all in one. This, so I'm going to take that out of the grinder, grind the nut off so I can poke that through so that the actual um, thermocouple gets into the chamber. And well, I'm going to do that now and then I'm going to give it a test. I've already had this switched on, it definitely works, <coughs> works on about. 30 degrees anyway switching on and off so I'm going to grind this off get this rewired and give it a go Okay, so we're all wired up and plugged in, ready to go, just got to switch it on, there we go, we're on. So this is the temperature it's reading from the, from the actual thermostat in the um, kiln, and this is the set temperature, I don't know why that's on, I didn't think that came on until it was actually working though. That's an alarm. Let's see if I can set it.
don't know why this alarm lights are light I'm going to set it for 740 So that little green light there means it's should be outputting it. Let's plug this back in again, see if the alarm comes on. Perhaps a wired plug up wrong or something. No, nah, that's it. So this is the temperature it's reading in the kiln. I've set it for 740. That should be just going up now as it warms up. I'll switch it back on again when. Um, when it gets up somewhere near it. So there it is, it's got up to 740. This little light's coming on and off to indicate when it's actually putting power in there. But it's staying pretty steady around 740, 741. So that's him. He seems to be working all right because these, um, this RE or Rex C100 only says it does 400. Um, degrees centigrade but I have seen other people on YouTube said they go up miles higher than that you've got three digits on here so you can set it to 999 so um, that's it all right I'll have to check I can't remember whether all tall steel is 740 or 760 degrees I'll have to check that or perhaps someone can leave me a comment and let me know but anyway that's it this little PID controller seems to work. Let me have a look in the kiln. Ooh, hot, bloody hell, that is hot. Okay, you know, well, hopefully I'll uh, have a go at some enamelling or something with it. And see how we get on with that. See, the temperature drops. As soon as you open the kiln door, it should start dropping down a bit. There you go. And it comes on to eat it straight up as it does. Drops a lot when you open the door, doesn't it? Right, well that's it for now. I'm looking forward to having a go at doing some enamelling and doing some proper heat treating of some steel in here. So that'll do. I'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.